welcome back to another cookery and crime. We are cooking savoury today and we're back with the Chinese Cantonese cooking. Um, we're moving on to soups today and I'm going to be making mixed vegetable soup, nice and simple. So it gives a variety of um, vegetables you could use um, and suggests that you select three or four. Now I have cucumber, carrots, baby corn, which I love, um, and tofu, which I've never actually cooked with before. So that should be fun. Um, now it also says to use Chinese stock. Now the recipe for Chinese stock is included um, and it makes four pints or 10 cups but you need a pound and a half of chicken pieces a pound and a half of pork spare ribs um plus other things and then you need to cook it for two to three hours now i can't afford that much meat just for stock which is probably not going to get used so i cheated <laughs> cheated just a little bit but uh we have a pint of stock which is what we need for the recipe what I did was I used enough water to end up with a pint of stock or just over a pint. I used um, a chicken stock pot, one of the normal ones. I used ham stock cube and then I used the rest of the ingredients just the same. So crushed ginger root, spring onion and some rice wine or dry sherry. And I just reduced down the quantities, brought it to the boil and left it to simmer and then let it cool down with everything inside and strained it off so it was extra flavoursome and it looks very nice it smells so good like gin oh you can smell the ginger and the ham it's amazing anyway i'm sure it's going to taste lovely that's my little cheat anywho so we want 30 to 60 grams or one to two ounces each of all of these things 30 to 60 grams. That's a big difference. Okay. Okay. Anyway, this is going to serve four people. Um, and I'm going to be making all of it because my plan is. to have this over the next few nights. So I'll have it, really? And um, tonight, my dinner, and I can have some tomorrow when I get in from work. And I don't have to worry about cooking. Will it be in vegetables? I know meaty stuff. Don't have to worry too much about, you know, food poisoning or anything. one for in soup if you ask me. Not had not had it in soup before. It's not one I would have thought of. Um other options were mange two, um tomato, asparagus. Couldn't get any asparagus. I would have used asparagus because I love asparagus, but I wouldn't have I couldn't get a hold of like well, I could, but, you know, my baby sweet corn for 60p because of reduced. Like I said. Money is an object for me. Um, and the asparagus were expensive when I went shopping, so... I mean, I should have probably gone to somewhere other than Tesco's for my shopping, but... How are they going to 
the others are a long way away. You know, I just couldn't be bothered, right? Oh, it broke. That is. That is a strange texture. Not gonna lie. That's a very, very strange texture. with chunks. So today we're going to be talking about piracy again. Um, those of you who've been watching from the start will remember my first video, Spring Rolls and Ching Shi. Um, and today we have not one pirate legend, but two. Now, these two, at least one of them, is definitely more well known than Ching Shi is. Mainly because of the dramatization that their life has had uh, over the years. I am talking about Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. Now, we'll start with her. Anne Bonny was the illegitimate daughter of her father and one of his servants. Now, her mother naturally, well not her mother, his wife, naturally was a little bit, just a little bit pissed off about this. Bring the stock to a rolling boil and under vegetables. Um, just a, you know, just a little bit. And she divorced him. Enough. So, he married Anne's mother and they moved first to London and then to uh, do, 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 do. the province of Carolina. Um, this was when she was about 10, she moved out there. Now, she was apparently quite a rebellious young woman and after her mother died she developed a bit of a temper. There were stories of her having stabbed a servant girl to death. Um, and also, well that one, you know, you can't really shine a good light on. Next one, she apparently beat a suitor who attempted to rape her, which, you know, I fully stand by. I fully stand by the beating the shit out of that guy, because, you know, so, her father disapproved of this behaviour, as they always did, but he wasn't too bothered until she married James Bonney, um, who was a small time pirate, basically a little bit poor. Her father disowns her and her and James moved to the Bahamas. They moved to the island of New Providence. Now the Bahamas at the time was basically a pirate haven. Um, I think Tortuga in Pirates of the Caribbean, but less. That's very exaggerated. While they're in the Bahamas, Anne starts hanging out in local taverns and drinking and carousing with pirates and um, while doing this she meets none other than the infamous calico jack rackham 
wrong one. So, her and Rackham become lovers. Rackham apparently offered James money. He offered to pay James to divorce Anne. James said no and threatened to beat Rackham. So Anne and Rackham run away. Run away to sea to be a pirate. Isn't it romantic? Anyway, uh, while on board, nobody knew she was a woman, um, except for Rackham. That is, until they took on some captives. They attack a ship. They uh, capture the crew, they held them prisoner, and some of them, especially the younger ones, they're like, come join us. You know, come come join us. We're not going to kill you. You could come join us, be pirates with us. And one of them, a young man, a very handsome young man named Mark Reed, agreed. Now, Anne thought he was handsome, and apparently Anne tried to... Bear in mind, she was at this point Rackham's lover. So she tried to seduce the young Mr. Mark Freed, at which point Mark goes, um, okay, I have a confession. Please, one, please stop seducing me because the captain, who is your lover, will probably kill me. Two, just so he doesn't kill me, I'm a woman. And she apparently opened her blouse to show, look, I'm a woman. Um, and agreed to keep her secret and the two became close friends and according to some sources they even became lovers. Now that's definitely a rolling boil. Why aren't you paying attention? <laughs> so carrots and baby sweet corn first. minutes. So, uh, they become close and Rackham becomes jealous, as Mary feared. Um, he apparently snuck in one night to slit Mark's throat, Mark's throat, and he discovered then, because to save her life, Mary was like, I'm, I'm a woman look, please don't kill me, I'm not sleeping with you, missus. Anyway, so he promised to keep her secret and was further mollified. She apparently, she started a thing with another one of the crew. Anyway, Mary, not Mary, sorry, Anne became pregnant. And that was when people found out about Anne being a woman because she started to show. So the gig was up and... Well, she had, she gave birth on shore and then came back to join the crew. You know, it was revealed they were women. Now, doubling back, we're going to talk a little bit about Mary Reed. Mary was born 1685 um, in England. Now, she was born out of wedlock as well. However, her mother had a son and the son's father died. Her husband died and she had a son by him and his, her mother-in-law said, you know, in honor of my poor departed son, I will continue to pay for the upkeep of my grandchild. And then the son passed away. But Mary, but Mary's mother was already pregnant again, this time out of wedlock with Mary. So when Mary was born, her mother dressed her as a boy, made and dressed her up and passed her off as the previously deceased son. This worked for a while and Mary's 
well, her, the mother-in-law continued to, spe to pay over the, the maintenance money until she found out and cut them off. Later, her mother continued to dress Mary as a boy and rent her out as a servant, apparently. Um, on top of that, when Mary reached teenage years, she continued to dress as a boy and went on to join the British military. She became a powder monkey for the Navy and that was how she met Anne and Calico Jack. So she gets captured, becomes a pirate, it's revealed she's a woman, and Anne and Mary continue on a campaign of piratical terror, or as it's known, piracy spree. This goes on for some time. They continue in this piracy spree, and are named in the list of most wanted pirates. So, fast forward, 1720. They've just had a very, very good and profitable uh, raid, and the men are enjoying themselves. Mary and Anne are on watch. So, it's late at night, the men are drunk. A ship draws up alongside them. And Mary, call, Mary and Anne call for the men to stand with them. Some of them do, including Rackham. The others, and like the majority of the crew, are all passed out drunk very useful. So, the mysterious sloop is actually British Navy and they call out, you know, who owns this vessel, who's in charge, it's identified as Rackham's ship and the British military call them to call on them to surrender. Rackham's response is to stop firing and so a fight ensues. Now, the British ship fires back and causes a lot of damage to the ship and because of their drunken state and such, Rackham and his men very quickly surrender. You'll notice I said Rackham and his men surrender. Anne and Mary do not. They stand back to back and they fight cutlasses drawn, taking on all the soldiers coming to arrest them. Legend says that at one point Mary stopped fighting just long enough to look down into the hold where the rest of the crew were cowering and shout, if there's a man among you, you'll come up and fight like the man you were meant to be. When there was no response, she fired her pistol into the hold killed one of the men before returning to the fight. However, there was only two of them against a full crew and they were eventually subdued and arrested. Now, the men were all hanged. So, Asparagus, mushrooms, and bean curd. Get to that in a minute. Yep. Men were all hanged. Rackham had one last request before he was put to death, and that was to see Anne again. She goes to him, and it's reported that her final words to him were, if 
you'd fought like a man, you wouldn't be about to die like a dog. Which, to be honest, is quite true. Because if him and the rest of the men hadn't been as drunk as they were, they might have stood a chance. It wouldn't have just been Anne and Mary fighting on their own. Anywho, he gets hanged, and all the men are put into gibbets. Which, if you've ever seen a pirate movie or a medieval movie, and there's those big metal cages, like big iron bird cages for people, that's a gibbet. That was a, not a gibbet. It's, either, it's a gibbet, I think. Gibbet or gibbet. Don't know. G I B B E T. G I B B E T. So I think it's a gibbet or a gibbet. I don't know. Anyway, what they would do is sometimes you would put, put in there a line and just left to stop. Mostly what they would do was they'd hang you and then they'd pop you in the cage in a nice public spot where everybody could see your rotting corpse get slowly eaten by birds and other wildlife as a warning, as a deterrent. Personally it would I think it would work. Um, it would definitely work on me. So that was the fate of the men. Now Anne and Mary's trial came later and there were many witnesses, uh, male and female, many of whom said, oh we knew from the start that it was two women, like we could tell, we could definitely tell that it was two women. Um, the women Pled not guilty, and then when found guilty, they said they had no arguments against against it. They had no witnesses, no arguments against it, um, and nothing to add to influence the judge's decision. At this point, the judge then sentences them to death, and Mary and Anne suddenly have something to add. They plead their bellies, which was um, a process back when we still hung people, where a woman could delay her execution because she was pregnant. So if a pregnant if a woman pled her belly, and it was proven that yes, she was in the later stages of pregnancy, the judge would delay her death sentence so that the child would be born, could be born, and then put into the system, and then the woman would usually be hanged. So they plead the bellies. It's proven that they are pregnant, and so their execution is delayed. Now, Mary, we know, died a few months later, around the time that she would have been due to give birth which suggests that she did die during childbirth. She's recorded in a ledger in Jamaica where they were being held. Um, simply Mary Reed, pirate. Now, as for Anne, we don't actually know what happened to Anne. We just know that she didn't get executed. There's no record of her being released. There's no record of her death. There's just nothing, which is what has led to so many of the dramatizations of her life and the, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Speculation, which is what has led to so much speculation. Um, Oh yeah. Oh wow. I'm just a little bit crunchy, but I like it cooked. Are the carrots? Yeah, the carrots cooked. Um, this is what's uh, led to so much speculation about Mary, about Anne's life, because we don't know what happened to her. We don't know how long she lived afterwards. 
we don't know what happened to her child. And all I want to do now is try and figure out a way of writing a story that is about Anne Bonny's daughter taking on her mother's mantle and continuing to ravage the seas. Because I think that would be pretty cool. So, uh, cucumber and throwing back to the... Add the cucumber. Stir and bring the soup back to the boil. Okay, what else we got? Soy sauce and sesame oil are just the seasoning. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. Tables that's half a tablespoon. Right. That's my teaspoon. Seven. It's in there, I used it before. We'll do two half a tablespoon of light. Few drops of sesame oil. Sesame oil is optional. I do like the nutty taste. And then seasoning. The stir. Very dark. That's because you use dark soy sauce salads, not light soy sauce. Because for some strange reason, you didn't find the right taste. All oh, that is salty. Just the seasoning. Your skin box. We'll go with spotty. Let's boil the mug. So. Level. You know, I got these. This entire set of. Was this one of the ones I got in there? No, this was Morrison's. That fit didn't have a vial in it, did it? No, Morrison's when I got the. What do you call it? Slow cooker. This is me realising. I'm going to get some proportions and see if I can use raspberries. This is not for people's love for soup. Either that. My portion sizes are way too big. I did eat an entire packet of cheesy pasta that was designed to serve three the other night, so yeah, my portion sizes are absolutely fucked. Garnish with some scallions. Scallion. never had cucumber in a soup. Although I do think I have a recipe for cucumber soup somewhere. At least called melon soup, like a gazpacho. Be an interesting one. So, Chinese mixed vegetable soup with tofu, cucumber, baby sweet corn, carrot. All is very hot. All is very hot. All is very hot. Ow! Give me a second. Cucumber strength. Soup itself is nice.
quite salty. I use too much stock. Use too much stock cube in to make the stock, but because ham stock's very salty. Or soy sauce. It's gonna make it very salty. It looks good. It looks really quick. Right. That took me what half an hour to make, and that's with talking to the camera. That's good. I like it. So there you have it. Mixed vegetable soup. Nice, simple, easy. Um, the only fiddly bit was the stock. But you know, if you're making if you're making it for a lot of people or gonna be making a lot of things, you know, the stock's worth making. The recipe itself, the basic recipe, I really like. Nice, quick, simple, easy. I've already said that. Um so yeah, and you also had the story of Anne Bonny and Mary Reed, technically criminals, but also, not gonna lie, pretty cool. So I'll see you in two weeks time for another cookery and crime. Um, I'll see you on Monday for another musical cover and Tune in on Wednesdays to Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, uh, Apple Podcasts for the re-release of my previous series, um, Inspirational Women from History. I'm restarting it, revisiting it. The Original episodes are going to be released as podcasts over the next few weeks and once I'm up to date with those I will be continuing on with the list of inspirational women that I started this time last year. Um, so that is every Wednesday. Follow the links down below if you want more information on that and uh, yeah I think that's it. All the sources are in the bios, are down in the description as well. And as always, help a girl out and give us a like, maybe subscribe or share. Uh, so thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.